Oh my gosh, spice apples that we canned. Uh, following the recipe out of the pickled pantry, we recently did our pantry video and people were asking about these. We've gotten a couple uh, questions about it, what these are like. So when we first posted this on Instagram, man, probably a year, year and a half ago, people were asking for taste tests. So here it goes. We're gonna put this on some ice cream tonight and let the kids tell you what they think about it. So, do you like this stuff? Yeah. You want to put it on some ice cream? Yeah. Just a little, save some for everybody else. You like it? Are you gonna talk with food in your mouth? Come on, talk with food in your mouth. Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> okay. The kids do seem to really like it. Smoothie. That was smoothies. Muffins. Well, you could put it in oatmeal. Yogurt. Grace has been like mixing hers or something, but what's it taste like? Let's see. That big thumbs up? You like it? Awesome. All right, I guess you can continue mixing. Yeah, she's mixing too. All right, Andrew lucked out here. He had a different snack, but he wanted to taste it. Let's see what he thinks. He's getting a little bite of dad's. Is that yeah. good? You like that? Mm -hmm. What are some other things that you can think of to put it on? Give me like one thing. Pop chop. Pork chops. Okay. Pancakes. Apple crisp. Maybe on pie. Ooh. You could actually put this in pie. Oh. Hey, guess what? Mm. You know how you said pork chops? Mm hmm And I kind of laughed a little. Mm-hmm. Our friend Sam over at Teal House Farm, he said his wife makes pork with spiced apples, and it's the best ever. Really? Yep. Isn't that awesome? So something else I would really like to do with this is put it in a blender. The apples are whole, as you can see. Or, well, I think they're halves. The apples are halves. And I'd like to put it into a blender and make more of a sauce to just kind of like dribble it. But I think I'd want it to be a chunky sauce. Not like just runny, but chunks of apple so I might like at some point use a submersion blender or something and pour it over ice cream or pour it over pancakes or whatever I think blending this up would make a great item like that and of course the the half apples set right on a pancake or something would also be just phenomenal yogurt but homemade canola or how about put into the pancake batter that would be fantastic as well Oh, this is good stuff right here. Use it as a topping on many different desserts like cheesecake. Waffles. Diddles. Now, TJ, you're the one whose eyes really bugged out when you tried this stuff. This is good. <laughs> All right. I may have already mentioned this in the video, but do you want to know what I was thinking? I was thinking of taking this, or like a new jar like this, yeah. putting it in a mixing bowl and blending it up into more like a sauce, but a chunky sauce, still with apple chunks, but with all this stuff kind of blended up a little mm -hmm. bit. And then you oh. could just drizzle the whole thing over pancakes or drizzle it on top. Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. All right, what do you think? Do you like the peel on there also? Kind of. Is the peel kind of tough? Yeah. Like if, I if I remember right, the instructions said to leave the peel on. The good stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you like that? All right. It is good. I I had a bowl too. 